Guys, hi, hello, and welcome back. Today we're making a cauliflower air fryer recipe. Now, I know you may have seen my earlier video, but if you have not, I'll put a link up here where I show you how to make a roasted cauliflower in the Instant Pot. However, today we're gonna change it up a bit using the air fryer because, of course, as I already mentioned, it's the cauliflower air fryer recipe, my recipe. We're gonna turn this into this. And I am so excited to share it with you. So without further ado, guys, let's get into today's cauliflower air fryer recipe, shall we? And we begin, of course, with the star of the show, the cauliflower, which we're going to unwrap from its packaging and then take straight to the sink for a thorough washing. Here in the sink, if you'd like, you can remove all the greenery from the bottom like I'm doing here. Do note, you will have to then take it from the sink and put it in the garbage, which I realized was not the most efficient way of doing things. Once thoroughly washed, we're going to pat dry with a paper towel and prepare our cauliflower for baking. We're going to do this by taking a knife and cutting off florets, as you see here. Once your cauliflower has been cut into appropriate sizes, we're going to next select our oil. When choosing an oil, I suggest a spray oil like this coconut oil, this canola oil, but if you don't have it, you can just use olive oil. Now it's important that we coat the cauliflower evenly. So here you can see I'm using the spray paint method, but you can use any method you'd like in order to coat your cauliflower evenly. Next, we're going to season with salt and pepper, a little bit of paprika, garlic powder, and cumin. Go ahead and season your cauliflower generously until each piece is covered like so. Next, we're going to preheat our air fryer at 375 degrees for four minutes. Once preheated, go ahead and spray the surface of your air fryer to ensure there's no unnecessary sticking and place your cauliflower florets inside the air frying vessel. When placing your cauliflower inside of your air fryer, make sure not to crowd them too much. You don't wanna stack them on top of each other. One layer should be ideal. That way, everyone cooks evenly. Now we're gonna cook these in two stages two stints of 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Once your 10 minutes is up, you're going to remove the basket and give everyone a very generous toss, making sure that everyone cooks evenly throughout the process. Then pop it back in and cook for another 10 minutes. Once you have approximately five minutes remaining, it's not a bad idea to pause your air fryer and take it out, making sure that no one is getting burnt and that all the cauliflower is cooking evenly. Once your cauliflower is at your desired doneness, go ahead and pour them onto a serving plate and make sure that if anyone spills off the plate that you grab them and put them right back on. There you go. Now I'm finishing this off with a little bit of lemon juice, which you can see here, and some whole oregano, probably a teaspoon or so, which I'm going to put in my hands and then create kind of an oregano dust here by crushing it in between the palms of my hands. What this does is release the naturally occurring oils in the oregano and make it a bit more flavorful and fragrant. And guys, that's how easy it is to make the cauliflower air fryer recipe. Now, if you wanna change this recipe up, I encourage you to do so. Make it your own by adding your own spices and making it how you wanna make it. Because after all, you're gonna eat it. I mean, it's very simple. You cut it, you cook it, you eat it. And I wanna know how it turns out. So in the comments below, please let me know if you tried this recipe, how you would change it, if you do change it, or if it's just fine the way it is. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and if you'd like me to make any other future recipes, let me know and I will do my best to complete your request. That rhyme, didn't mean to. Well, gotta go.